I wanted to talk today about organizing solids inside a Gibbs cam. You can see on my screen here that I have an injection mold. This part has a lot of parts to it, and I want to kind of dissect it and organize it so it's easier to machine and test um, fitting and things like that, see what parts need to be machined in what order. The easiest way to do that is using the body bag. If we lo look over here, there's this little uh, icon that says body bag. What this is, is this is kind of like a holding bag for your solid models. When you're not machining them or you're not, you don't need them on your screen, you just put them in here and it gets them out of the way and it makes it a little bit easier to see things. So let me go ahead, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. There's a couple of ways to get parts inside of the body bag. We can highlight a part or a solid, right click on it and hit bag it. Now we can go through this whole model and do that. Or what I can do is I can hold down my control and hit A, which is select all, right mouse button click on my screen and say bag selected. You can see that that puts everything that's highlighted inside of the body bag. So it's fine, everything's in there, it's exploded, it's great, but realistically, I mean, there's all the slides and ejector plates and all the crazy stuff, they're all right on the same page. What I wanna do is I wanna kind of separate this stuff out. So, you know, as I scan through this, I can see here, for instance, this is the actual part that gets molded. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put that on its own page. If we look down here, you can see that's page one. I'm gonna right mouse button click, I'm gonna click insert page. Let's move this over to the center so we can see it a little better. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just rename that part. Now to get this over there, it's easy, it's drag and drop. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it down to my part page and I'm gonna drop it right there, okay? So you can see now that there's my part, and let's talk about, let's say, injector plate. I know this is the injector plate here, so let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and insert another page, and I'm gonna call that injector plate. And I'm just gonna drag that thing down and hit injector plate, okay? So now, one of the great things about Gibbs Cam is it remembers what page it's in too. So if I double click on the part, there's my part right there, that's great. I flip over to page one, and I, I wanna put that back in the body bag. You can see that it puts it back into the same window where it came from. Another great thing you can do is you can manipulate um, some of the aspects of these solid models inside of the body bag. For instance, if I highlight that and right mouse button click, I can change the user color for this. So let's go ahead, let's just make it some kind of really bright color. I'm holding down shift and go back up. I'm gonna right mouse button click and say, apply that attribute to the whole part. So now when I unbag it, you can see that it's red. And this is gonna help a lot when I start going through this and seeing, well, you know, how do these parts really fit together? So we can go through this and keep going and say, you know, let's go ahead, I wanna insert another page, but let's come back here and I don't know, we'll say um, top plate or how about this? Move this here. I'm just gonna right click on this and hit rename. And we're gonna call that core. So now you can see that I've got my core, my cavity, and my part, and they're all in their own separate pages. The other thing you can do with these too is you can move these around. You can say, you know what, I want to have my ejector plate first or my core second. If you look down here, see how I'm dragging and dropping? You can change the size of this window. We can say we want page one. We can rename this, and we'll say this all part, maybe all parts. So by going through this, I can have a page that has all of my slides, um, all of my hardware. You can see there's ejector pins and inserts and things like that. And it also makes it really easy for me to organize my solids inside a Gibbs cam. If you want to find out more about utilizing solids inside a Gibbs cam, please feel free to call your local reseller or contact Gibbs Camp Technical Support. Thank you so much for watching. 